Hey guys, this is your boy P one more time. Following up with that Plasma installation in the Dell PowerEdge R710. And guys, once you finish um, installing your hypervisor type one on your server, remember this is gonna be a headless server means that you would not need a monitor and a hard drive or i mean or, or a usb mouse and keyboard everything's going to be done on a web interface and just to show you what i mean without further ado let's jump into this video it's going to be rather short so guys here is the monitor as you can see the only thing i'm about i'm able to see here is an IP address and to log in, of course. But remember, we're not gonna use that. So I'm gonna switch over to my older computer. And here, I just open up a regular browser. My preferred one is gonna be Mozilla Firefox. And right at the top, I'm gonna enter that IP address that it was given to me by the hypervisor, followed by the port number, which in this case is A006. Once I get that in, all I need to do is click on enter. It has a self-assigned certificate. So let's go ahead and click on advance. And yes, guys, normally we will say no to something like this, but this is the last thing that you install directly on your environment. So you will wanna accept it. Accept the recent continue. And here you have your login information. Guys, your password will be root and the pass, uh, your username will be root and the password will be that awesome super secret password that you created at the beginning when you were setting up your prosmod. Enter up that awesome password, click on login, give it a few seconds. And my login fell. Let's try it again. I probably didn't put in that password correctly. Let's try that one more time. All right, let's see what's going on here. If I did something wrong, and perfect. Now, guys, now you are now logging into your Proxmont environment, virtual environment. You will receive this notification error that says no valid subscription. This is because you have the free version, of course. And guys, Proxmont is open source. It's always going to be free, as they promises. But if you really believe that this is an awesome product, you may want to subscribe. And of course, you will have to pay for the subscription. Now, if you want to get rid of that particular annoying or nagging, uh, no valid subscription, they will come up every time you turn it on. I'll show you in another video how to take care of that. This is totally legit and it's working with no problem. So this is, guys, a short video. Now you have access into your Proxima. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to configure your pool, your storage, and so forth and so on. All right. I'll see you in the next video.